Hello. Hello, hello. It's Bunny ASMR. Thank you so much for watching this. It's just another soft-spoken ramble video. Uh, maybe going back and forth again between soft-spoken and whispering. And I hope you've been having a wonderful day today. You've been enjoying some of your favorite things. I have been playing a lot of Valheim lately. Anybody here who plays Valheim? Let me know. And um, it's getting pretty difficult. I am not very good at fighting games. I mean, I don't know. Some of them I'm kind of not these ones, not these ones, and um, I've been playing enough that I have been having dreams about just crafting and crafting and building and building, and um, it's driving me insane. If anyone has any um, Valheim tips or tricks, let me know. Let me know my video. Or any games that might be similar to Valheim that you recommend. Let me know. I love crafting games, preferably ones that are co-op, though. Because I don't, I don't have much time to play by myself. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, um, yeah. Other than that, there was another game I've been really playing a lot that I really liked. Um, I don't remember the name. Go to dungeons and you fight and you get all the materials and then you sell them in your shop. And then you just do the same thing over and over and over again. I like that game. That's a good one. I don't know what it's called though. I don't know. That's a good one. I wonder how my Animal Crossing what little village is doing. Has anyone else abandoned? Animal Crossing Purple. Um, I had a really good thing going and I was really enjoying the fishing and then I just couldn't finish playing because of like work life and whatnot. But I was pretty determined to catch all the fish. And it's just it's unfortunate that the fish the fish are only available like at a certain time of the year. So I haven't gone all of them. I'll probably pick it up soon. I think probably now is the season that I like and I probably could revisit that again. And I was kind of like a villagers too, but I don't think they like me anymore. That's okay. Yeah. The weather's getting cooler finally, and that's always really nice. Except the other day, it just got a little, little tad too cold. I need to go. I need to live somewhere with a, like a good, a good solid between like sixty-five and eighty. That would be perfect. Maybe, maybe occasionally drop down to like 50 occasionally for some nice chilly Christmassy weather, <laughs> but not often, not often. I'm not sure if I'm excited for the snow or not. I'm excited to build a fort for Hansel, like one of my cats he likes to play outside. I'm excited to build him a little igloo need some tunnels to play in, but, um, we'll see. The snowy, the snow I live kind of, it doesn't always come until spring, so it might be as well until, until like March, honestly, maybe February. I think, um, last year we didn't get really any snow until, until spring. I think we got a tiny bit in the winter, but not enough to have like a white Christmas, I think. <laughs> you know? But I don't know. I can't tell if I've moved anywhere if I'd miss snow or not. You know? I think I might miss snow. But I don't know every time it snows. So I want to live somewhere where it doesn't snow anymore. For a while I wanted to move somewhere where there's no more snow. But I don't know. Now that it now that it's been a hundred degrees most of summer, 
I think I want snow. I think I want snow. That'd be pretty nice. But I don't know. I don't like driving in the snow. I don't like shoveling snow. I don't like wiping snow off my car. None of that's fun. But, um, but I don't know. But I like drinking a hot drink.
because I don't want all those tapes to fall out, you know. And, um, but, but we got the little kitty gogurts. I don't know what they're called. They're just like mush, mush in a tube. It's, it's gogurts for cats. And he really, he, he slurped that stuff up. He thought it was so good. So, I guess I'll have to get more of those. And, Maybe I can see if I can um, record some little kitty ear licks. <laughs> That'd be pretty fun. <sighs> I was trying to get some good outside recordings the other day. Oh my goodness. I... This, I can't... I have a hard time recording anything in this neighborhood <laughs> without somebody mowing their lawn. Or every dog in the neighborhood barking at once, or children screaming. It's very, it's a very family neighborhood, which is cool, but it's just not very, it's not very ASMR friendly in that sense. Um, anyway, also, um, like living close to like a highway too, I didn't, I didn't realize how much um the sound the car. The the highway is not close. It's not close, but you can you can hear it. You can hear all the cars going on it. I mean, I guess it's close enough, huh? So I didn't realize that was gonna be a problem. Also, also, you know what else makes a lot of noise? Those um the the, light, the AC units. I think is what they are. But the 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 ones on the outside. I don't know boxes, but they make a lot of noise. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what they are, but they lost names and they make a lot of fan noise. Which is tough, because I would love to record in my backyard sometimes, but, and I did once, I did record in my backyard one time, and, um, you guys aren't gonna see that. It was okay, but it just wasn't, I don't know, it's tough. It's tough, because I'm very good at taking this camera anywhere else but right here. I'm not, I'm not confident taking it anywhere else. But I should. I would like I would like to get confident enough to move this camera somewhere else. But um anyways, so I recorded from my phone and it just kinda looked like garbage. Also, I mean yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean the sound quality sound was okay. But it was a lot of I think I got a lot of motorcycles and Um, which is crazy, because you would think you'd get more fan noise inside than anywhere else, but I don't know. I don't know if anyone's been watching, if you guys been watching The Game of Thrones or Lord of the Rings. I'm having a hard time watching them both at the same time without getting them mixed up in my head. Um, I have not read the Lord of the Rings books, but why are people giving it such bad reviews. I think it's pretty good. And, and on the other note, talking about, um, the House of the Dragon, the Game of Thrones one, um, I, I know people are bummed that it's moving kind of slow, but I'm enjoying the slower pace. I'm enjoying all the detail. I don't know. I mean, they just like a slower pace. I don't know. I don't, I don't find it boring. Maybe, maybe some people do, but, which is funny because usually I have a hard time giving my attention during shows, especially ones that are slower, but I find something kind of interesting, so I haven't, I don't know, I would like, I would like them, the, 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 the Game of Thrones people, I would like them to go further back in time, and I was hoping they were gonna, I heard, I knew they were gonna do more. But I was kind of hoping that they would go further back in time. I don't know why, but I, I definitely wasn't necessarily interested in the Targaryens as much as I was the White Walkers, you know? kind of wanted to hear more about that. But maybe, but maybe that's something they need to do. 
maybe that's just something they need to cover first before, the, before they go back even further. Oh my goodness, I got, I brought the, I haven't, I haven't brought it in my office yet, but I got the other, I got an hourglass, I got an hourglass, I sounded it. On an hourglass with sand in it, and um, I don't know if you guys have seen some of these ones. Um, I'm excited to try it. It'd be nice if you can get that that's kind of sound, you know. We'll see, we'll see. This one's fun, but it's not as fun as I thought it would be. So I just, I don't know what I got. I got a light animal. Sorry, probably other stuff from the video before, but <sighs> I would really like it. I'd really like it to rain more here. I would um funny thing, every time I water my plants, I'm like I plant outside, it rains. I swear every time. Actually I'm gonna try and water today and see if it works. <laughs> I made a joke about it the other day. And, um, I was like, there's no way it's actually gonna rain, because it was like 100 degrees outside, and, um, literally, it wasn't, I don't think it was the next day, it wasn't the next day I thought it rained, but, um, it was like the day after, it was not long, and then it sucks when that happens, because then some of my plants get overwatered, and I can't, I can't undo that have these giant planters and I put some rocks in the bottom but honestly I should have drilled some holes instead but they're doing okay they're too, they're, they're thriving they're I mean, not thriving but they're alive and well and green they're my jasmine plants but I've been having a hard time getting any of my plants to grow this season even my lilac bushes feel like the heat has been a little hard for them and I don't know I feel like I feel like all of their energy is focused on just trying to live <laughs> and not growing and I have these lilac bushes that are still so tiny and I want them to be big but now I'm wondering if they're ever what if I, what if I accidentally got a small species of lilac bush? Oh, I'll have to check. I left the tags on them. I don't know why. I just decided to never take them off. Oh, well. Well, that's helpful, though. Because I still have them. Maybe after this, I'll go look. I'll go look. I'll, I'll let you know. The wrong bush size. Still need to put a tree back there as well. It's a lot of work. Don't don't get a backyard. There's so much work. Oh my goodness. I am just mowing them. It's a lot of work. Pulling weeds. Oh my goodness. I there's weeds everywhere. And if you pull them, they just come. And I don't want to use herbicides in my backyard, like I just don't want to do it, but I just, I don't know, there's just so many, there's so many weeds, I do have Roundup, I don't want to have to, I don't want to have to do it, you know, especially, especially bindweed, do you guys have any, do you guys know what bindweed is? If you don't know what bindweed is, it's just like, Long, they make these really long vines that like tangle all, all over your plants, and they just grow like crazy, and they're so hard to get rid of. Even if you find, even if you spend forever finding the, the base of where it came from, they're just gonna come back. But get these, they get white flowers on them. If you see like fields with like the vines and the white flowers, that's the, 
that's the bind weed I'm talking about. They're just taking over the place. And yeah. Yeah, it's tough. Um but I, oh but I'm excited. I'm excited for spring though, because then I get to try and plant more clover in my yard. Oh my goodness. If you have a yard and you don't care for grass, I would so recommend clover. Oh my gosh, hiding clover in the lawn is so nice because it's it's a lot it's a lot softer than grass and it looks so cute and like fluffy and like just gone so hot in here my camera shut off. Okay. But anyways, um the clover makes your lawn look so fluffy soft. The only downside I would say is that um, it does get kind of spooky because um, it gets like so tall and critters love to live in there. So if you're just walking around um, there's some creepy crawlies in there. But otherwise it's pretty fun. Pretty good. Yeah. Love it. Would recommend, it. and especially when it gets honestly, I think it's super pretty when it gets the little like um white white flowers on top. Sorry, I'm missing my earbud. I was like, why can't I hear myself talk? And the other, okay, my bad. But um, especially when it gets the little white flowers, I think they're so cute. Um, and it definitely stays a lot cooler than. Um, like the regular one, you know, when you go to step on it, it's like nice and cool. I know Hansel loves that because he likes to play in the backyard. And since he's a black cat, he gets extra, extra hot. But yeah. Well, that's probably enough, probably enough to chat from me. You probably want to get some sleep. Or, um, you know, carry on with your day. So... I will let you go. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. <laughs>